Monday, 13th of August, and you're back in business with me, Harsha Subramaniam on Bloomberg Television India. There are clear signs of stress in the Chinese economy, and it's only going to get worse, says Andy Shea, former chief economist of Morgan Stanley. My colleague Rishad Salamat sat down with Andy and asked him, how long will this pain last? Well, I think that uh, it's not, uh, the issue is that uh, it's going to last for a long time. I think the market is uh, like uh, impatient, always looking for signs of uh, uh, bottoming, picking up. I think after a big bubble bursts, bursts uh, now the, uh, uh, the recovery takes a long time. Well, what's going on in China is, uh, is, uh, is a big bubble. In the first, the stock market bubble, then the property market. And uh, there are tons of financial stuff uh, going around. Now that's deflating. So I think it takes three years for, for the process uh, to uh, reach some sort of a, a conclusion. Right. You're saying it's quite similar what China's going through to what the Southeast Asian nations had to contend with a few years ago. Tell me what the similarities are here. Well, the issue is, uh, is debt, uh, uh, asset inflation, and the, the business is uh, turning away from real business towards speculation. So during this period of, uh, of a bubble, uh, there are a lot of problems in the economy are actually increasing but are covered up by the bubble. When the bubble bursts, all these problems come, uh, come out. So it takes time to heal. So this is the lesson from the, the, the bubble uh, bursting uh, in other countries. It takes time and uh, the economy is not coming back next quarter. It takes three years. Really? So, uh, many people I talk to sitting there say, well, we've probably seen the bottom already and we should see things picking up and get uh, back to, well, more decent levels of growth by the end of the year. I think the, uh, you look at China's uh, property under construction, is somewhere uh, now, uh, close to 8 billion square meters with market value close to 100% of GDP. You know, with that kind of inventory, it, 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 I think it's, it's, uh, it's really naive to say it's all going to be... Uh, you know, solved in a quarter. You know, they, 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 yeah, it takes they, years. But they've got lots of firepower, haven't they? I mean, you've got interest rates can, they can be cut, the uh, triple R can be cut, they've got money in the coffers that they can be spending on stimulus measures. Well, when you look at the U.S., they cut interest rate uh, down to zero very quickly, but uh, actually uh, the economy still uh, took years to, uh, to, to, to repair. Even today, the U.S. economy is uh, pretty weak. I think that uh, you know, the uh, monetary policy or fiscal policy can only ease the pain. They cannot change the trend. And the trend is determined by this, uh, uh, this massive bubble bursting. Okay. Well, let me just uh, talk a little bit about how you know, we go from here. Three years, you're saying, for this yeah, to... I think that uh, the issue is uh, it really depends on how fast the economy, uh, the China, undertakes structural reforms. Now, the, uh, the, 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 uh, in the past, China could depend on exports to uh, help out on when, the, when the domestic side is not doing well. But uh, now this choice is not av available this time. So uh, if China wants to, have, uh, uh, to recover sooner, they need to undertake really uh, painful structural reforms. They, they need the government to slim down. The government now it really accounts for half of the, the, of the economy. That's uh, like uh, dra taking down the, 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 the efficiency, taking down the efficiency. It's very hard for the economy to move forward. So I think if China is serious about, uh, about uh, reviving growth, it needs to go through reforms. The stimulus does, it really doesn't work. And then they need to s cut the government size by half for the economy to come back. That was Andy Shea, former chief economist of Morgan Stanley on China. We're out of time in business. Do find us on Twitter at Harsha in Business. Thank you very much for joining us today.